Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC and these are my top five accessories for the TW200. So I'm sure a lot of you out there know all about the TW200 from Yamaha, and if you own one of these, well, you know as well as I do just how much fun they are to ride. In fact, this bike has that reputation for being the little bike that could. And the reason that they say that, because it has so many different uses. I've seen people use it for light dual sport adventure riding, trail riding, you could use it as a workhorse around the farm. The reason that I bought mine was actually for hunting. In fact, we have a great overview video of this bike if you wanna watch that when you're all done, where we just talk about all the specs, really what this bike is capable of, and that video will really give you a good idea if this is a bike that's gonna suit the needs that you're gonna to wanna to buy it for. But with that being said, as much, you know, as much fun as these bikes are, there's still a lot to be desired and a lot of improvements that you can make with these. So I wanna share with you my top five accessories for the TW200. So the first item that I wanna talk about is foot pegs. Now whether you pick one of these up brand new, maybe you find one used, that was the first thing honestly that I noticed when I picked this up, is just how small the foot pegs are. In fact, they're the same size foot peg that you get on a PW50. So that just tells you how small they are. Now if you're gonna be sitting down most of the time that you're riding, stock foot pegs will probably be all right. But if you're gonna be standing up on the bike, doing some dual sport adventure riding or trail riding, then definitely I would recommend you're gonna want some bigger foot pegs on there. So to remedy that, we've got the IMS super stock pegs on here. So just looking at these, you can see they are much bigger than the stock foot pegs. So they give a much bigger platform, a lot more comfort when you're riding. So again, if you're getting one of these or you have one already and you want to upgrade those foot pegs, these super stocks are an awesome choice. So from the foot pegs, next item I want to talk about is the headlight. Now in my opinion, the stock headlight on the T-Dub just does not give off enough light. So definitely a recommendation that I give is to upgrade that. So what I've actually got on here is the JNS headlight. What I really like about this headlight, it's LED. It uses half the power that the stock headlight does, even with the high beams on. So what's great about saving all that power is you're able to add some electrical accessories, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. And also, this headlight is so much brighter than stock, you can't even compare the two. So if you're gonna be doing some night riding, you know, for me especially, you know, out hunting, I'm in areas where there's absolutely no light whatsoever. So I need as much as I can get. So having this headlight from JNS has been awesome. Now what's great about it as well, it's essentially plug in place. So you just remove your stock headlight, Install this one, plug it in, and you're good to go. So if you want some more light, the Gen S headlight's an awesome route. So the third item I want to talk about is a rack. Now the T-Dub stock, it does not come with any type of rack, so if you want to carry any gear with you, a duffel bag, you're going to need a rack to do that. So what I've got on here is the Tusk Top Rack. Now there's a couple features about this that I really, really like. So first and foremost, if you look at the top, there's a lot of attachment points, a lot of cutouts, so you're not gonna have any issue with securing and tying down your gear. You can also see just how big it is. So they made it plenty large, so it's gonna carry your larger duffel bags. If you have game that you're carrying out like I do when I'm hunting, plenty of space to put that there. But what I also really like about this is how much support it has and how sturdy it is. So it's gonna to mount to the rear fender, but the rear fender by itself on these bikes doesn't support that much weight. So what they actually have done, is you've got this three quarter inch tubing that actually runs down and mounts right to the foot or the passenger foot peg mounting brackets. So it gives a lot of support to this. So this rack, this rack no doubt will be able to handle your heavier loads that you wanna put on here. And lastly, you're gonna notice that underneath the bottom here, they actually have these extra gussets, which make it even more rigid. So if you're looking for a big rack for the T-Dub, one that's gonna be able to carry larger loads, it's gonna be very supportive, well then this would be an awesome choice. All right, so fourth thing I wanna talk about is protection. And I mean protection for your hands and also for your engine. So first thing, I've got the Tusk D-Flex Pro full wraparound handguards on here. So even if you're just a commuter around town, they're still gonna help block the wind for you. Now, if you're gonna be doing any off-road riding, trail riding, they're gonna protect your hands. It's also nice about these is they're gonna protect your levers. So if you have a crash or a tip over, that's gonna help prevent your levers from breaking. Now, when it comes to the engine, now this bike stock does come with a skid plate, but it is pretty thin and really doesn't offer what I think is enough coverage, especially if you are gonna be doing any sort of trail riding. So what I've got on here is the Ricochet skid plate. Now this thing is nice thick aluminum and when you look at it, you can see it gives full coverage. So it gives you that extra peace of mind. Now with this, when it comes to mounting, there's a couple of things you wanna know. So all the hardware comes included for it, but on the frame of your T-Dub, there's actually a tab and that tab is there to help with mounting the stock skid plate. In order to get this one mounted up, you actually have to either bend that tab down or what we actually did is just took a metal grinder, we cut it off, we grinded it down, and then we we're able to mount it no problem. Just keep in mind, if you are gonna mount this skid plate, you gotta work with that tab. But once you do that, 
real simple to get installed and it's going to offer great protection for your machine. So the fifth and final item I want to talk about with my top five is going to be for comfort. Now we all know no matter what bike you are riding, if you're cold, if your hands are cold, it's not going to be too enjoyable. Now earlier I talked about that JNS headlight and how much power it saves and here's why that's so important for me. So what I've actually installed on here, I've got the Tusk Grip Heater Kit and I've got the Tusk Seat Heater. So with the grip heaters, what's nice about these, they're universal fitment, so you just wrap them around your handlebar, install your grip over top, you wire it up, you've got a high and a low for the heat setting, and they do a very good job of keeping your hands a lot warmer. So if you don't like to ride with cold hands, grip heater kit's going to solve your problems. The other is with the seat heater. Now the seat heater is an actual pad that installs underneath your seat cover, so you take your seat cover off, you put the pad underneath, reinstall the seat cover, wire it up, and with that also you have a high and a low setting. And I am telling you, that has probably been one of my favorite things on this bike. When I'm just sitting, maybe I'm glassing while I'm hunting, having that seat heater on makes a big difference. It helps keep your rump nice, warm, and toasty. Now also with that, one little trick that I have for you is obviously with the grip heaters and the seat heater, you're going to have switches for those. The TW200 doesn't really have many options as far as mounting those switches. So what we actually did is I've got some Tusk Chub handlebars on here and then I actually just had this Pro Taper handlebar pad sitting around. So we installed it and we actually cut out areas or spots on the bar pad to install those switches. So if you're going to get these items and you're looking for a place to mount those switches, well, you can use a bar pad. That's what we did. It's actually worked really, really well. So that's my fifth and final item for comfort. It's just going to be heated grips and a heated seat. All right, so there they are. Those are my top five accessories for the TW200. So if you have one of these, or maybe you're looking to pick one up, hopefully these will help you out. But also, if you own a T-Dub and you've done some things to it, and maybe one of your top five accessories that you would do you didn't see in this video, well, comment below and let us know what that is. That's also going to help other riders out. To pick up any of the parts, accessories that we talked about in this video, it's real simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this top five, well get subscribed to our YouTube channel and that's going to keep you up to date on the latest top five videos, our how-tos, our bike builds, our product spotlights, everything you need to get rocking and rolling. I'm Chase the Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.